Hello and welcome back! In this series I want to go through the entire Ilias campaign. I will not only explain the campaign quests and their meaning for the world of Atreya, but also tell you about all the important characters and their personal story. We will also include special places of interest that you always wondered about. And lastly I will explain all the dungeons, their backstory, the reason we go and kill everything there, and how we follow up on our tasks after the dungeon. So lean back, relax, and let's start. In the last video we covered Sataloka's story, and we were tested by Kimeya, the deva that guards the seal on Sataloka's heart. Today we are going into the new dungeon, Noxana. But before that we have to be tested to see if we are fit to go into the abyss. So we have our knowledge tested, our battle skills, and even our capabilities of flying. After we completed that, we are finally allowed to enter the abyss and meet the governor of Roshanta, Mikalis. He reminds us that our mission here is to get absolute control over the abyss and hands us a list with tasks that await us. The first task on that list is our training, because battles in the Abyss are different from those in Atreya. We we'll learn about sieges, the etheric field that protects each fortress, the castle gates that can be overcome with siege weapons, and of course, the guardian general that protects the fortress. We also learn about artifacts that can be captured and have many uses, while some strengthen our allies, other harm our enemies. And lastly, we hear about the Balau battleship, the Dredgen. We don't know where Dredgens come from, where they go, or even what path they follow through the abyss. They can appear anywhere, anytime. When a Dredgen appears, it drops a horde of Drakons. Then bombard the ground with a barrage of devastation. We have yet to discover a weakness in potent defenses. So for now, whenever a dredgen appears, we take cover. We gained a lot of knowledge. Now it is time to put it to the test. Conveniently, a Balaur training camp is nearby. The Noxana training camp. There the Balaur recruits get trained to become the strong opponents everyone fears. So before we make our way there, we get bombarded with tasks that need to be done there. And after accepting all of them, we move in. Now I want to mention that we are in a guardian transformation with two extra abilities. One deals AoE damage and the other one stuns enemies around us. This transformation and these skills have no lore relevancy and are purely there for gameplay purposes. Probably because in Retail Aeon the Noxana training camp was the first group dungeon that you could enter as a new player and it was designed for six people and then rearranged for a single player experience. However, let's start. The first task is simply to kill as many Balaur as possible, which isn't a big issue since we have to fight our way through the training camp anyway. But we have way more to do. Our final goal is to kill the Guardian General that leads the Noxana training camp. But to do that, we have to first get through the fortress gate. And even if we manage to kill the Guardian General, one of the instructors could easily take over and lead the Noxana training camp instead. So we have to get rid of the instructors as well. Also, we were told that the Balaur has newly developed weapons in the Noxana training camp, and our researchers want these prototype weapons to study them and find better ways for us to fight them. So with a lot on our mind, we start our exploration. We don't have to go far to meet the first instructor who guards an artifact. After defeating the instructor, we activate the artifact and it casts a powerful shield which is protecting us. This comes in handy as we have to fight a powerful fire drake next. Slashing our way through more and more enemies, we arrive in front of another instructor, the Etheric Shield Protector. Then we finally stand in front of the fortress gate. 
we summon our siege weapon and destroy the gate, only to be greeted by many more Balaur rushing towards us. The only Balaur left standing is the Noxana Guardian General, and after a fierce battle, we can finally relax. Before we leave, we do remember to collect the prototype weapons for our researchers and make our way out of the training camp. Now we stopped the Balau training efforts and put an halt to this camp, but who knows how many of such they do have. And also who knows how quickly they can replace the instructors and the Guardian General to continue their training in this camp, because we all know there are endless Balau out there and they never lack willing recruits. After making our final report, we move on and continue our journey. And that is all there is to the Noxana training camp. Okay, usually I do not talk about non-lore related stuff in this series, but here we will have to make a little exception. Let me start with what is or could be accurate lore advice. The story of Balao having such a training camp and training their recruits there can be accurate and is fine and all. But as for the reason why there is an easy gateway right from our base in Rashanta, there is simply none. One person mentioned thanks to Lord Kaisinel we could go there, but that's all the information we got, so it's simply there, no explanation. As for the Guardian transformation and the skills we get once we enter, there is also no reason for those to exist. Now, I mentioned before that the Noxana training camp was the first dungeon you could enter as a new player, and it was a six-man dungeon before. And then later it got rearranged to be a solo player experience with the transformation and the extra skills. In the end, it is only there for gameplay reasons, so the player can use some of the things they learned from the Abyss guides or the Siege guides. But that's all there is to it. Alright, that's enough. That was kinda a short one. But thank you for watching. If you liked it, please consider leaving a thumbs up and maybe even a sub. If any questions remain, feel free to leave them in comments or in our Discord server. Have a wonderful day and see you next time. Bye! Oh, <laughs> oh,